Hi children, welcome to Sunday Club on September the 20th. How are you doing? How are you enjoying school? Have you settled? Do you find your way around your either nursery or primary school or secondary school? Maybe some things feel very familiar, maybe other things you might feel a bit like being in a maze, trying to work out where you're going, what you need to do. This is just for a bit of fun. As you can see, it's an E, like in Edda. You are very welcome to have one of those mazes starting with your first letter of your first name. So just send me an email or a message and I will email you a labyrinth which starts with the letter, the first letter of your first name. And we'll come back to that and help us think about today's Bible story. In fact, do you enjoy receiving letters? Yes? No? I can't hear you. Do you enjoy receiving letters? Okay, I do. Um, and this one was a special one. It was an invitation from our godson to his wedding in Colombia. But unfortunately, that had to be postponed until next year because of coronavirus. But we love, we, Christopher and I, we love receiving posts, letters, cards. It's always exciting, isn't it? You think, oh, who has written to us? What is in there? Now, you might not know that some parts of the Bible have lots of letters. The New Testament has lots of letters and a lot of those letters have been written by the Apostle Paul. That's right, the Apostle Paul. And today we're looking at just a couple of verses from a letter of the Apostle Paul to the people in Philippi. Can you say that? Philippi. It's like Philip, the male name, but it's Philippi, Philippians. So he wrote a letter to them. He already knew them. He had visited them before and now he is writing a letter and he uh, writes this letter when he is already a bit older and um, might have some health problems and might struggle with maybe one or two things that um, are happening in his life. And here is what he is saying. I don't know what to choose. I could keep on living and doing something useful. It is a hard choice to make. I want to die and be with Christ because that would be much better. But I know that all of you still need me. That's why I'm sure I will stay on to help you grow and be happy in your faith. Christoph, you need to get from one hoop to the hoop on the other end. There are just a few things in the way and I'm trying to guide you. So can you walk a few steps forward? And now, yeah, that's good. Further straight forward. <laughs> and now a bit more left, a lot more left. Straight on, stop, turn a bit right and straight on. And yeah, that's very good. Straight on, straight on. And now step. That's it. Take your band off. How did that feel? Victory. It felt safe because I knew you weren't going to run me into an obstacle. Okay, shall we do that one more time without any explanations? And you find your way now that you've done it once. Without lights. Yeah? We're on. <laughs> Thank you, Christoph, for playing along and being my guinea pig for the obstacle course. As you could see, it was much easier being blindfolded to be guided by someone else. 
Now Paul, the Apostle Paul, he was a bit of a guide to the Christians in Philippi. And although he was old at that point when he wrote the letter and he was tired of living and he knew one day he will be with Jesus and he will have life, eternal life, and it will be so much better than having an, a creaky a body that presents him with all kinds of issues. He's saying, well, I am staying around because I know you, the Philippians, still need me and to help you grow into Christians that live a healthy faith, a strong faith that knows where to look. Where do we look when we are maybe in the middle of a big labyrinth? At the moment things are confusing, aren't they, and difficult. As Christians we know we can always go back and read our Bibles and pray to God knowing that we have to promise that the, the Holy Spirit will guide us and help us no matter what we're going through at the moment. So thank you for watching this. Let's close Sunday Club with a prayer. Dear Father God, we thank you for the Apostle Paul and everything we can learn um, through the words, the letters we have in the Bible. And I pray for each one of us this next week for the obstacles we might have um, put in our way, that you help us, Lord, to listen to your voice, that you help us to listen to other Christians and that we would allow you to guide us by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, the weather is amazing. Why don't you build a little obstacle course and experience with other members of your family what it feels like being guided, blindfolded, through the obstacle course. Make sure it's safe and have a great week. Bye.